Friendship Factory and welcome to the 25 day Christmas craft challenge. We are on day 24 which means it's Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Yeah. Okay. Seriously, Christmas is my favorite holiday. I love decorating the house, decorating the tree. I love to cook all of the delicious desserts. I don't really like cooking like the main course but I like cooking the desserts and baking that's a lot of fun to me and I love making crafts for Christmas today I'm going to teach you how to make a really pretty picture frame with some magazines and some glue super easy and the reason why I saved this for today is because it's last minute it dries really quick and everyone loves a picture frame everyone loves pictures set up all around their bedroom, all around their house. I know I do. It's just beautiful and super fun and easy. Let's take a boring black frame and turn it into a super pretty colorful frame just with some magazines and glue. Very easy. Well, you only need a few things to make your picture frames. You need a paintbrush. I like to use kind of a medium sized tip on the brush. You'll need some Mod Podge, you know, this is my favorite. You'll need some scissors. You'll need some magazines, and you're just going to cut out a bunch of different pretty patterns for your picture frames. And then you'll need some picture frames. Doesn't matter what size. Um, I think that these are the best size because they can fit a regular size picture in them. I like to either print them from home or go to Walgreens, CVS, or Rite Aid. And I can print them for like really super cheap. I think it was like 30 cents or less for one picture. And then you just make sure that you take the glass in the back off of it so that you don't get any glue on that part of it. Okay, so your first step is to get out your magazines and you are just going to cut out colors, shapes, patterns, whatever you'd like out of here. You can even cut out words and just go at it. Have fun cutting the pages apart. You don't have to have any specific like shape. So see, you could have this and this and you're just going to overlap them so it doesn't matter if they look perfect and basically just take your frustration out on the pages and just cut that stuff up did you get homework over Christmas break did you snoop through your presents and you didn't get the new iPhone 6 <laughs> anyways you get the point so just cut up a bunch of stuff and you can cut off more if you don't have enough, but just start with different colors and patterns and it'll look really super pretty. So now that I have all of my paper scraps cut out, I can now place them all over my picture frame. And since there are some edges, I'm just going to make sure that when I glue it down, I kind of get the pieces of paper like pushed into the edges. And I'm going to start gluing all of these different pieces of paper down in different directions and make it look really pretty. And I'm just going to coat the picture frame wherever I'm going to put the piece of paper at the time with the Mod Podge. And that's why a paintbrush is really important for this. And I'm going to put the piece of paper onto the frame and then push in all of its edges so that it looks really smooth. That's what Mod Podge is good for. It makes everything look so smooth and beautiful. And you have to do the back as well or you can just cut off the paper, but I feel like it sticks on way better this way. And then you just cut off any excess. And then you're going to 
coat over top of it as well and it'll leave a really nice shimmer and it'll just seal it in there really good and you want to avoid bubbles so you just want to make sure you push it in really good and with your paintbrush just paint it on really flat and then the Mod Podge is going to dry on clear so it won't look gluey and it'll just look awesome and you're just going to repeat that process over and over again and just cover the whole entire picture frame and it'll look so cool I love it So I got mine done. It looks super pretty. You can make a bunch of these for Christmas and they're really easy to do. And this took me about 30 minutes to finish it and it's all dry already. So that's why it's a perfect Christmas Eve craft to make because you can make these really quick and simple. Really what I did is I bought like 15 frames from Salvation Army and they were like under $15. And I just decorated a bunch of them. And this one's my favorite one because I got all these different colors on there and it just looks so beautiful. It's a great Christmas gift and anyone in your family or your friends will love this. I hope you enjoyed the craft we made today. If you love crafting as much as we do, make sure you check out all of our Choose Friendship products. And to enter to win the ultimate craft prize valued over $300, just follow this link below. We wish you a very happy holiday season and always choose friendship.